Hey, what's going on today, guys? It's been a while since I've created a video. This is PC Central 102, and as I promised a long time ago, this, that I would replace my Alienware Aurora R2 and turn it into an R3, and that's exactly what I've done. I did it a few months ago from the day that this is posted, and I did it back in February. And I also have a new graphics card. Yeah, I never showed you guys that. Um, under the hood now, instead of an i5-650, I now have an i7-2600K. I now, you, you can tell this is, this is not an R2, only because there's a USB 3.0 port right there. I now have an S 250 gigabyte SSD Samsung Evo Pro that I still have yet to get a mount for. I used my other, my normal hard drive as a slave and my power supply that I last updated you guys with is 1100 watt but I'd say that this was probably one of the biggest upgrades I ever did I replaced the motherboard in it I replaced the processor and I, I didn't think it would work but it did and I spent the money, the money to get it done and from that I got USB 3.0 I got SATA 6 6 gigabytes a second and I got newer technologies with better processors and stuff like that that I can do. Like obviously I can only use two of the SATA ports down here. But I'll tell you the biggest problem that I had with this case was around the back here. The, uh, the I.O. plate right here. That was so difficult to find. Super difficult. And that's even more proof that this is an R3. Like after hooking everything up and what not, it all worked perfectly fine. And there's a USB 3.0 port that I love that I, that'd be, that's so awesome and so useful to have for what I use it for anyways. And you know, yeah, my system's running right now, but uh, I just want to tell you guys that it is possible to switch this from a R2 to an R3 or an R1 to an R3, doesn't matter. All the technology stays the same, all the, the, uh, uh, what's this called, the, the Mayo board, that doesn't, that doesn't need to change, that's fine. The only problem that I ran into was the, was the, uh, um, the I.O. board protector in the back. Uh, that was so hard to find, that took me a year and a half to find, I, it's just random one day that I saw it. Uh, the liquid cooling system works, all the stuff up top works with it. And the only thing different is just the newer stuff that I get with it. And the RAM that I had for my R2 still worked in it. And so did my graphics card and everything else worked. It, it went just fine. Um, I would have posted something about me transferring it all over, but that took a while and that was the last thing I thought of. But what I am doing right now is... uh. This computer case that I got right here, this has all the old parts in it and whatnot. That's uh, that's the old motherboard, the old processor. No, don't, don't currently currently have any RAM in it. Um, that's just a random power supply and the old I/O protectors in the back. And that's what I did with the old motherboard. Hopefully, I'll be able to turn it into a gaming computer and sell it. I don't know. But I just want to tell you guys that it is possible to to get uh, an R2 into an R3. It would, yeah, the last thing I wanted to deal with was having a first generation i i processor, and I wanted something newer, and I wanted something that'd be faster, and especially I wanted SATA six gigabytes a, gigabits a second. That was a uh, that was a want for me, and I did replace the SATA cables. Down here, I replaced that with a new one for my SSD. Um, I don't really see any difference with that because I'm sure they're all backwards compatible, or it doesn't really matter what kind of cable you have. But that's uh, that's it. And the R th R3, I think, is a major jump from the R2. Um, I did spend about two hundred and forty dollars on the processor and sixty dollars on the motherboard way back when. Um, Everything hooked up fine. It's working fine. It's been working fine, and and uh, 
hopefully I'll stick with this for a long time. Uh, the only thing that I want to do now is to get uh, bigger graphics cards. I'm still not sure if uh, um, what this thing's compatible with. I think Dell is pretty shitty when it comes down to saying what's compatible with their machines and whatnot. But I guess I'll just have to test it out. I may get 700 or 900 series. I'm still not sure. Uh, if it's worth SLIing, probably not in this case. Only because they'd be so close together. I think there isn't much room here. You can clearly see that that's just enough room for the cards to breathe. And with gaming, that's not going to add up well. Um, that that's it. It just if you guys want to, if you guys ever wondered. If it worked or not, it does. Just make sure your just make sure you take out the cooling system, your graphics card, and move all the SATA cables out of the way. That's and everything else you got to disconnect and just remember where everything goes and you'll be fine. And that's that. Oh, and the fire wire for the R2, that green wire right there. I didn't uh, redo the top I/O. Um, connectors. I still have two USB 2 ports and uh, a FireWire port, but the FireWire port is uh, not on the R3 anymore. It's non-existent, so that so that's not working anymore, but that's okay because I never used it. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, that's the only downside with upgrading it, but I don't really see as a as a big problem. So that's that's exactly what you guys got to do when it comes down to your upgrading it from R2 to an R3. Um, otherwise, everything else with the computer is going to work fine. You all the drivers and everything, all that stuff went perfectly fine. I think what I did do was install, uh, uninstall old drivers from the old i i5 processor. The old Intel processor, um, Windows handled it just fine. And one thing, and you may want to listen up on this. I, when I first started up, it kept giving me a blue screen. That's because my the hard drive setting was wasn't set. It was set in RAID. It was supposed to set be set in like AHCI mode or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know it was set wrong, and that kept causing me to blue screen, and that wasn't fun to deal with. So, be wary of that, guys. That's not. It it's okay. It's just a simple setting in the BIOS that was changed from the new motherboard, but that's that's all you got to do. And yeah, that, hopefully that relieves some of you of some stress. And yeah, the R2 can go to an R3. So. Yeah, I was super relieved after the money that I spent to upgrade it. It was it was worth it in the end. So, all right, peace out, guys.